Okay, so the first question here is about blood circulation in mammals. And you've been given a diagram with some letters on representing some different blood vessels. And you need to give the letter that represents each of the blood vessels that they've given you. So let's just talk through circulation in a mammal. So here we've got the heart divided into two sides. We've got the right side, which we see as the left side, and the left side, which we see as the right side. And then we've got the atria at the top and the ventricles at the bottom. And then taking blood into the heart is the veins. So on the right side of the heart, you've got blood coming from the body. That's deoxygenated blood. And that's through the vena cava. This deoxygenated blood will be pumped through the right side of the heart and will leave via the pulmonary artery in order to travel to the lungs. Then in the lungs, this blood will be oxygenated and then taken back to the heart through the pulmonary vein. It will be pumped through the left side of the heart before leaving again via an artery called the aorta, where it will travel to the rest of the body. So from this, we can see that the aorta is labelled D. And then the renal vein, we can work out to be G because renal means kidney and it's going away from the kidney at a lower pressure, so it must be a vein. And then finally, the vena cava must be F. We've already labelled that, but that's a vein taking blood back to the heart. And you've got a mark for each of them, as we can see here. So D, G and F. And then next, name the blood vessels that carry blood to the heart muscle. So this is just simply the coronary arteries. And actually only 31.6% of students scored this mark. So finally, the last part of question one, we've got another figure showing a photograph of part of a mitochondrion from a mouse liver cell taken using a transmission electron microscope um, at this really high magnification. And you've been asked to produce a scientific drawing of the, mi the mitochondrion in figure two in the box below. And you need to label this drawing. And this is four marks of this, so this is a lot. And this is testing your practical drawing skills, which you should have acquired throughout the year. And only 2.4% of students gained all four marks here. So the first and most obvious thing that you need to do is actually draw out some kind of diagram that resembles the picture above. So let's try and draw that. Right, so that's going to get you two marks because one for it not being sketched, for drawing it in the right way, and one for it looking similar to the drawing. And then we need to label it. So the matrix, that's this middle part here. I'm gonna draw a straight line and label it like that. And then the crista are these inner foldings of the membrane here. That's gonna get us another mark. And then finally, there's one more thing that a lot of students miss out, and that's drawing a scale. So we don't want any shading, no crossing lines, no sketching, must look similar, must correctly label it and stating the scale.